The Bulls are on an 8-0 run. Okay, now will our sneakers go on fire? Okay, we missed. Oh my god! No, he got it in! Holy <laughs>
I mean, obviously the PSP is going to be one of the more limited ones. I mean, so same with the PS2 though and stuff like that. Um, but nonetheless, shoot from downtown. I'm only getting three pointers. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Get it in there, boy. Oh, we did it. We actually got a. We actually scored a hoop. I'm impressed. I didn't think that would happen. Again, in an arcade game like NBA Jam, maybe I could, but uh, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I kind of thought of doing like a contrast match of like different systems, but But oh I passed to a dude and he is oh god, dude, you were wide open. Why couldn't you get that? Why couldn't you get that? Um, anyway, I ultimately sort of decided you know what the graphics look comparable ish on all the different systems And I was like rather than just doing a, a comparison on the different systems I'm just gonna pick one and play and we haven't really seen much PSP in a while So I thought you know what I want to play on a, I want to play some PSP. That's what we're doing here today Um, I think oh, we're in a huddle Yeah, so they got like the camera zooming around again Just like if you're watching this on ESPN Obviously if you play the Xbox 360 or the PS3 version things are gonna look really photorealistic um and actually i have seen some nba games on like the ps4 and xbox one like again i'm not a basketball guy so i don't really i don't own these things or play these things but i have seen some basketball games on the more current systems and they are even more impressive like like it honestly is getting to the point of photorealism for like these uh you know very limited simulation scenarios you know like you you look at you look at a game like grand theft auto or whatever and they're getting pretty good with uh simulating reality and making things look real um oh, we got fouled i think i think we get uh, penalty shots uh, but they're doing a good job of making things like grand theft auto look real and stuff but once you like limit the world you have to simulate down to just a stadium and some basketball players um, you can actually get far more realistic with your animations, your portrayals, your sound effects, the camera, everything. So the modern basketball games look amazing, I, I have to say. Anyway, to shoot, move and hold that down. Time your release with the forward... Mo mo what? The forward movement of the ball to intentionally miss to the side. Um, okay. Wait, what do I do? None of the buttons work. Hey, wait. What? <laughs> okay, I think I shot. Oh, it looks like I choked out the ref there. Yeah, that was weird. Move down to start shot. I guess you just time out eventually. This is so weird. Why is this not working? Can you guys hear that? I'm pressing buttons. All right, so the penalty shots are a trap. <laughs> Don't get a penalty shot. Oh, but we got the ball again. Kaboom! From downtown! Oh, yes! Finally from downtown. I find that, uh... Oh, look at that guy. He's just, like, sitting on the court. Like, full-on chillaxing during the match. See there in the, the top sort of left side of the screen? Now he's in the top right. Now he's gone. That's what that's what, how I would play basketball if I was on a team. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how there's like little smooth animations for when they want to pass the ball even when they're like close to one another Ooh! Oh, yeah, get it in there get it in there. I Got a foul again. God damn it <laughs> uh, Oh, we got a substitution though. So there we go. Did I do that substitution? I don't even know move down to start All right, well at least my uh, AI guy takes pity on me when I don't do anything for a while Anyway, well, I guess while we wait for this next shot to time out, um, apparently there was a limited edition version of this game that was released uh, that was sold with a Kobe Bryant figure uh, back in the day. Um, Kobe Bryant, of course, uh, very, very tragically passed away um, back January of 2020, I think, was the, when it happened. I mean, again, I don't really follow basketball, so I'm not 100% sure, but... I mean, he was only like 40, if I remember correctly, and that is just, that is just tragic. I mean, nobody should, you know, die at 40. He had a daughter who I think passed away with her. God, we're getting really dark here. Um, but yeah, he was, he was a limited edition uh, figurine that actually, oh God, more penalty shots. No. All right, well, I'll give my uh, somber sermon to, to Kobe here while this is happening. 
Um, again, I don't know much about him. Um, uh, I seem to recall maybe there was like some sex abuse allegations or harassment, not, not abuse, but like harassment and stuff at one point. But also, I mean, the guy also, um, was just like a great dad from everything I've read. So I don't know all the details of all his life. I'm not saying the guy was a saint, but certainly, um, you know, not, uh, not, not. He, he didn't do anything to, to deserve dying at the age of 40, so it's very sad. But he was a figurine um, that was released in the limited edition of this game. So I don't even think I did that, by the way. I guess I did. I was sort of absentmindedly pressing buttons, waiting for the penalty shots to time out. And I somehow scored. So we're two points behind. Trying to steal the ball, and we failed. I want to get a dunk like that guy. Oh, look at that move. Somebody had to program that in. Oh no! Get the ball! Oh look at this! Look at this dude! Thanks a lot, buddy! Get off the court, dang! Alright, Hunter. He's on the prowl. Okay, he failed. <laughs> um, what, what was way back when I played NBA Jam? I, th I seem to recall picking like uh wait what is happening why do i keep going out of bounds that is really weird hold on is there something wrong with my controls here no things feel good i i don't know my it i mean i guess there's like weird animations in this where you want to move in a certain way and the character like has an animation they have to go through before they can like, like, he keeps moving away. I'm trying to move, like, just straight towards the net. The hoop, whatever you call it. See, I'm so not a basketball guy. I'm using, like, hockey terms for basketball here. Come on, defense, defense. Let's get him. I should not change two characters who are on defense because I keep screwing it up. Look at this, these smug guys. Um, but, yeah, I remember when I played NBA Jam... What? What is that? Did I get a foul? Uh, I specifically picked a bad team, and I uh, oh, we got injured. And I tried to win with the bad team, and I think I did. And it was like Buzaki Kumpf or something like that. Crump, something like that was the guy's name. It was like a white guy. It was like the only white guy in NBA Jam, and I was like, I'm being this guy. He had terrible stats. Somehow we still won. Now it's like polar opposite. This is like, oh my god, I got intercepted. Come on, get back here with my ball. I told you the Bulls are going to disappoint tonight. If you guys were going to bet on sports, you should have bet against me. God. I feel like the more complicated these sports games get over the years, just the worse I generally get at them. I feel like maybe that is one reason why... I, it's like as year on year goes on, I gravitate more and more towards retro games, almost for their simplicity, you know? Like when a new basketball game came out on the Super Nintendo, like NBA Jam or NBA Jam 2 or whatever. I keep getting fouls for some reason. I don't even know why. Um, all you had to learn is, you know, a, a D-pad and then like attack and defense. And it was like very simple. Nowadays, I feel like with basketball games... You know, like, they're geared more towards people who want to learn, like, a series of sophisticated <laughs> controls. Uh, like, oh, God, remember when I played boxing? I think I played boxing on the Xbox 360, and it was just, like, a shit show. Like, I was so bad at it. Uh, and I'm not even defending it. It's like, you know, yeah, I wasn't as bad as you guys remember. No, I was bad. You know, but it's like my level of game is, like, punch out. You know, the more the more simulatory a game gets and the more complex it gets with all these rules and stuff just you know like my ability and my interest kind of wane oh from downtown boom shakalaka that's what they would say in nba jam so I, i'm you know i'm not gonna i don't mean to like ra I'm, I'm not ragging on this game necessarily I'm not saying the game is bad because it is more simulatory but i'm just saying like as far as uh, my own abilities and interest go um i'm more comfortable with those older school kind of simpler games i just enjoy them more um i'm trying to think though like are there any simulatory type games i enjoy like maybe mech games i remember mech warrior 2 i was huge into in high school 
And that is definitely not the kind of game you can just pick up and play. So it has its own complications. So certainly complex games um, are good. But I think you have to have an interest in, uh, like, the genre. Um, I got tagged with the Reach. I like how the audience, by the way, is just blurs. Maybe I should show, like, a clip of the Xbox 360 version or something at the very end, just so we can see how much more advanced it gets. Um, but I much prefer the computer to take these uh, penalty throws than myself. Because I just sit there waiting for it to time out. Maybe I should be playing this on Xbox 360. Maybe it'd be easier to play or something. I don't know. I guess it's a little too late now. Boom! The 2K replay cam! He sneaks it in the side! He's on fire! I want my sneakers to go on fire. I jump up into the rafters and then explode down onto the net. If if Nintendo has taught me anything, it's like that is a thing in basketball. Oh, get out of here. Okay, we have 18 seconds left. Let's do this. Hey, why would you pass to that guy? He's not on our team, you fool. Betrayal, that guy said, our, our teammate sabotaged. Look, he's thanking him. The Detroit guy thanked my guy for passing blatantly directly to him. Stop passing to the other team, dude. It's I'm it's 100% my fault, but I'm going to blame the players. All right, Salmons, do it. Why did you not go fast and let the other guys catch up? Did we get a foul? Oh, no. <laughs> It's over. Move down now. What do they want me to move down? I'm so perplexed. He can't oh, wait. Wait. I think I might have gotten it. They want me to press down on the analog stick. Oh, no. I just timed out before. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> All right. We timed out, thankfully. Three seconds left. You son of a bitch. You better not. Oh, my God. No. Oh, oh, Detroit Pistons. They're shellacking me. Oh, we passed to them. All right. My team is at the point where morale is so low. They're like, just give it to the other team. Look at the fans. They're booing. They're like, oh, God, no. God, no. We need like a pep rally here, man. We need a... Uh, we need someone to come in and like cheer up the the home home fans. Cause this, this is not going the way I had hoped. Oh god, we gotta keep playing, eh? What turnover? We went out of bounds? I'm so confused. It's so- it's so hard to control the players. It, it sounds really weird to say, but like, they just do not go the way that I want them to. Oh yeah, there we go. That one's going in. Maybe I should be passing more. I really don't pass at all. I'm kind of a ball hog. And I get it, I'm just like, all the glory is for me, man. All the glory is for me. Steal, steal. Okay, run faster. Run faster. Yes, get the ball. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, we're making it. We're making it. We're shooting. We shouldn't have shot. We lost it. We're shooting again from downtown. He kind of flipped it off. Okay, we're getting it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we're going in. Yeah. Okay, that was a decisive victory. I was passing the ball. It was weaving and ducking and diving. So maybe, maybe hope is not all lost. Come on, give me that damn ball. Steal it. In NBA Jam, you could straight up just like push them over if they annoyed you too much. What? Why did I go out of bounds? Damn it. Every time. I think I'm just being... I'm like pressing on the analog stick in a weird angle or something. I, I keep pushing ourselves out of bounds. Oh yeah, we got it. Nope. We got a, we got a penalty for reaching. You're not allowed to reach for the ball, apparently. The old reach around. All right. Well... We may have been penalized, but all hope is not lost. Oh, we got it. We got it. Get it. Get it. All right. We got it. Pass. All right. The Bulls have the ball, boys. This is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, it's going in. No one even tried to block that one. Okay. We're getting the hang of it. We're getting the hang of it. Maybe, you know, for, for what I was saying there about how I prefer retro games because they're simpler. Maybe it just takes like five minutes to like learn these modern games. Maybe I've been avoiding playing modern games because I'm like, I don't have the patience for them. I don't I don't have the attention span of five minutes to learn how to play a modern game. <laughs> and maybe that's all it took. 
Cause may maybe I'm kind of doing it. Whoa! Oh no! Okay, that didn't work. Okay, boom, boom! I, I bumped him with my butt, and I'm hopping around trying to intimidate him. Come on, give me that ball! Give me that ball, son! Give me that ball! I will eat you! Yes. All right. No, the other team has not scored this whole time. Yeah, that shot did look like a sure thing. Too bad he sucked. Kaboom! Yeah, that was like a reverse dunk. I don't even know how he did it. He teleported briefly there. <laughs> did you see he like glitched from one position to the other? The Bulls are on an 8-0 run. Okay, now will, will our sneakers go on fire? Okay, we missed. Oh my god! No, he got it in! Holy <laughs> All right, so we are we are making a recovery here. We're making a recovery. This game just got good, guys. Oh, they're trying it too now. Get out of here with your three-pointers. You don't, you can't make three pointers. It's all bulls, baby. It's all bulls. Uh, okay, well, maybe it's not. Boom, boom, boom. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. I'm just like clawing at it desperately. Oh, I got the real, the old reach around again. I don't know if that, I don't know if that hurts you or what. I don't know how penalties work in basketball. I'm going to assume it does nothing. And not change my behavior. My my clearly unsportsmanlike behavior. Whoa, whoa. No, get out of here. Miss. What did we get? I think we got a foul. Not allowed to like goaltend or whatever I know. That's one thing I know about basketball. You're not allowed to do that. The fans are going nuts. Can Gaming J pull it back? The Chicago Bulls are down. Eight points. Soon to be nine. Okay. All right. You know what? Uh, three three-pointers, and uh, oh, why would you pass to that guy? Okay, hold on, hold on. I think we got a spy in within our midst, guys. We have a double agent. Okay, we're we're getting we're getting too handsy with the ball. Maybe we should just cool it a bit. They tend to miss most of their shots, so I'm gonna rely on their ineptitude. Yeah, you missed that. You go ahead and you missed that. Boom. Okay, we don't need to see the replay there. Pass it to me, buddy! I have the confidence to score! I'm a white boy on the Bulls! I've got this! Oh! That was a rejection, man. Shoot! 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 Oh, God. Okay. Well, my guys are just, like, jumping all over the field. Jump! Oh! 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 Go! Oh, get it in there! <laughs> Damn it! Uh, they're getting fouls on me, but it actually hurts hurts me. Okay, hold on. How do we do this? There's got to be a way to figure this out. Okay, here's our controls. Oh, this is useful. Shoot and pass. Those ones I figured out. Aggressive. Don't know what that is. Crossover. Move player. Playbook. Dual, dual player. Line up. Call for pick. Icon pass. So what button how, where, have they been talking about? It's the move player button, right? It's the analog stick. All right, I have no, no idea. Wait, choose side. Wait, I can switch sides? Wait, can I become the computer? One or more players have changed teams. Oh, no, wait, don't, don't do that. Okay, we'll stay on we'll stay on the Bulls. That's actually hilarious. At the very end of the game, you can just switch to the other team. Um Oh, you have to move the analog stick. Wait. Wait, hold on. Move down. Oh, okay, I'm still horrible at it, but I kind of get it. That that's actually like Tricky, why can't I just use the square button? No! Yes. All right, you miss. Boom, boom, boom. We need the music to amp us up! Oh, yeah, all right. There's, here's your replay, guys. Enjoy it! We're kicking butt and taking names! Everyone's booing us. Are they booing us or are they booing the Pistons for not defeating us? Boom, boom. Stop passing it around and shoot, you fools! Stop passing it around and fail! Oh, damn it. <laughs> good, good shot, good shot. They're like rallying around him. Alright, we got this. 
What the? Why did I go out of bounds? What? What is that nonsense? I was holding forward, but he like literally backwards walks, walked out of. I, I don't even know. I, I did a penalty or something. I'm sure. And let's just start getting handsy again. Enough of this crap. Damn it. <laughs> We had a bit of a comeback, but I feel it slipping through our fingers. Just slipping away. I guess it's to be expected. Alright. Heinrich. Heinrich. He's a, he's a good German player. Alright, get it in. Get it in. Oh my god. No more penalty shots. Instead of a penalty shot, can I just have two points? Is that is that fair? All right, here we go. I'm, I'm doing it. Ryan, release too early. Hey, okay, hold on. Down up. Too late. Okay, I think I think I kind of got it. So you do have to click in the analog stick, and then you like move the move the analog stick down, and then when you move it up, you release the analog stick. It's it's hard to explain, but it uh, it works. Okay, we we are we are sucking. Oh come on, that is nonsense. We have 19 seconds left to turn it around. Come on! We can't lose to Detroit. How embarrassing is that? From downtown! Only three pointers! Okay, never mind. Well, instead of a three pointer or a rebound, how about we have nothing? Nothing is also good. All right, just score. Just finish embarrassing me, Detroit. You fools. All right, here we go. We're pulling it back. We're getting a three pointer. Three, two, one, shoot, 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 shoot! <laughs> Oh, come on! At 0.9 seconds... We... We failed. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see if I can finally do a penalty shot. Bad release, too late. Okay. That one, too late, damn it! Well, at least I'm actually able to shoot. I'm glad I figured that out. Um... Well, halfway... <laughs> <laughs> At halftime, 39 to 24, running of the Bulls. Guys, be honest. If this was a basketball game on ESPN, would you turn this off? Would you keep watching this? <laughs> You're like, oh, the Bulls are doing horrible. All right, here's our halftime report. Stucky has gotten 14 points. Uh, Rodney Stucky, here's some highlights of him doing his thang. You know, what? we're going to switch sides. Enough of this. As soon as after halftime, we're becoming the Detroit Pistons. <laughs> we are selling our souls to switch sides. In game, I don't know what the explanation is. Like we are approached by the devil and he's like, you want to switch bodies with Stucky? Ooh, look at this. We even get a halftime show. All the cheerleaders have come out showing their support. All right, this game ain't so bad. <laughs> I take back everything negative that I might have implied about this game. Now I'm sad we weren't playing on the Xbox 360. Could have seen that in high def. Uh, all right, so there's people buying snacks and stuff. That's kind of cool, actually. I appreciate like the little details and stuff like that. Uh, all right, let's time to cheat. So we want to switch sides. Yes. And in we go. All right, so now, now now we are the Detroit Pistons. That is a hilarious feature. You can just literally switch sides like that. So they, you know what? This is win-win. Either what's going to happen is we will now win as the Pistons, which will make me feel good, or the Bulls are going to win, and that will also make me feel good because they deserve it. They deserve it. But now we're playing as the Pistons, which is hilarious. Um, this rightfully like loses any progress and stuff like that that you were earning from playing the game But pretty funny that you can do this So you could I guess switch sides between like every shot and you could Constantly be playing both teams. I wonder if anyone has ever done that That would be kind of an interesting match. What the hell? So one thing that I find very frustrating about this game is when I'm holding up like when you guys were watching right there how my guy like went out of bounds. I was not pressing anything but up on the analog stick. 
Like, what I find kind of annoying is that, like, you try to move in a certain way, and sometimes your guys, like, sort of listen, but sort of don't. Like, Hamilton. I'm trying to get Hamilton to go left, and he won't. Like, look, Hamilton is off the screen. I'm holding left on the analog stick. I don't know where the hell he's going, but he's not coming back to the screen. This game is, like, really... It has really wonky player controls. I'm sure there's, like, some basketball rule that I don't know about that says, like... After you miss stealing the ball, you have to run to the other side of the court or something like that. Um, or, like, so, there's some kind of rule with how players move according to physics or something. But, like, I want, like, the Super Nintendo controls. When I press left, my guy goes left. This is this is weird. It's it's very hard to describe. But, like, imagine you're, you're, you're pressing the analog stick in a direction that you want to go. And your guy only kind of goes in that direction. Like, I'm holding straight up there, and he, he was kind of going diagonal the whole time. Man, Detroit sucks. <laughs> like, Detroit just sucks. All right. Well, I feel good that uh, the, the Bulls are catching back up. You know what? Maybe if they catch up, we can switch back to them. Won't that be exciting? I'm just going to constantly switch to the team that's winning. It's my strategy. It's a perfect strategy, guys. Either I will win as the Pistons, or we're going to sabotage the Pistons sufficiently so that uh, Chicago gets the edge. In fact, actually, Chicago's not doing too bad. They really closed the gap. Like, I'm, I'm trying. I, I haven't gotten a single a single hoop, though, as the uh, Pistons. There's your three-pointer right there. All right, from downtown! If that goes in, baby. Nah, they never do. They never go in from that far. Okay, I'm not gonna mess around though. I don't want to like. I'm not. I'm not trying to intentionally throw it for Chicago. Um, all right. Chicago's doing pretty good, I think. They've narrowed the gap to four. So if they get two more, if they tie up, if they tie up, then I will go ahead and switch back to them. Then, because that's a fair game. Um, all right. These, these guys suck though. Oh my God! Can you not get it in? Jeez. Boom, boom, passing it, passing it. Like I'm holding up and he he walked backwards. That is that is ridiculous. I was holding up the whole time and he ran backwards out of bounds. I don't know what that is about, but um yeah, that that's that sucks. Um, it must just be like like physically when you're on the court if somebody's rushing you like that, you have to back off or something. But it's really weird. It, it makes it, like, for, for someone who's not a basketball player, it's like for me to try and play it, the controls feel broken. It feels like my guy does not actually do what I want. He only kind of approximates where I ask him to move. Boom. Get it in there. Man, Detroit sucks. Give me that ball. Give me that ball, boy. Give me that ball. Yes, we finally got one. See, I'm not just throwing it for Chicago, despite what you guys might think. Yeah, this guy, whatever his name is, straight up got a hoopy on you guys. What are you going to do, Chicago? Go home and cry to your mamas. Steal the ball again. We're going to get real handy on these guys. All right, well, uh, they got their, they got their, their points, their two-pointer. Boom! Right back at you, Chicago. I knew that was going in. I called it before it went in. I think I'm just prolonging the inevitable. I'm pretty sure I am switching back to the Cubs very soon. But I'm not going down without a fight. You got nothing. Maxwell will defend. Oh, yeah. Here here comes the uh, the hot streak with uh, Detroit. Uh, never mind. Detroit sucks. It's sort of like unless you are right in front of the net. If you try... Or the hoop. unless you it, If you're not right in front of the hoop and you make a shot, you just straight up miss. Like, it's... Just how it goes. <laughs> it, which is, you know, like not to, certainly not to judge basketball players or anything, but here, so here's one random thought I've had about basketball. Like you're allowed to shoot the ball from wherever you want, right? You could stand at half court and you could shoot and there's nothing against the rules that says you can't. However, the odds of getting it in from half court are very low. So most people don't do that. However... Why don't you just train all day, every day, 24-7, how to shoot the ball um, from half court, get to the point where you can get it in like 9 out of 10 times. And trust me, if you think this is impossible, 
there are Korean speedrunners who play video games so much and get so precise at them that, of course, you can train yourself to always get it in in half court. I, I believe that must be possible. In the realm of human existence, somebody has to be able to train good enough that they can always get it in in half court. And then if you'd had that ability, you could just literally just get the ball, get the half court, and get a three-pointer every single time. And you wouldn't have to worry about getting to the net. And if you say, well, then the team would just start guarding the half point. Yeah, but your whole other team would be up in front of the net. So if they start guarding you, you just pass it to one of them. So the other team is now in an impossible position because it's like, how do you prevent people from getting slam dunks while at the same time protecting the half point mark? This is a perfect basketball strategy. Why has no team ever employed this? Just find someone who, like an obsessive comp compulsive, uh, you know, uh, Korean speedrunner for video games and like give him this task of getting it in nine out of ten times from half point or from half court like this guy this guy was just listening to what I was saying because look at that three-pointer that might as well have been at half uh, half court there uh, by the way we were briefly tied with the Chicago but I forgot to change teams but don't worry I can change at any point I haven't forgotten that uh, we'll probably be the Cubs once we start losing very soon uh, but maybe Maybe we're about to start winning very soon. I mean, we already are winning. And of course, this is all me. I didn't cheat or anything. Boom! Damn it. Give me that ball. Give me that ball, boy. Rose! Rose! That guy's name is Rose. I know it's his last name, but I like to pretend it's his first name. He's like, yes, my parents named me Rose. My entire life, people have been pointing it out to me. I know it's a girl's name. Boom! Oh, that almost went in. I would have been proud of him if it went in. Oh, now we have, uh, okay. Now we have, uh, more dancing from the, uh, the cheerleaders. The fans don't know who to root for. They're utterly confused. They're like, we're trying to root for Jay, but he just switched sides. This is so confusing. I don't know which team I'm happy about and which I'm sad about. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and switch teams again because screw logic or anything like that. And we are now back to being the Bulls. Here we go. We're down by one point. So technically, can I just say that technically I did close the gap? Technically, the Bulls were down by a lot. I did close the... Like, that guy's just running out of the arena. What the hell was that crap about? Um, but technically, I closed the gap. We were down by, like, 12 points. I did a thing, and now we're only down by one point. Now three, but you know what I mean. That thing that I did might have been cheating, changing to the other team, and making them play horribly. What the... Okay, that is... I, I clearly don't understand how you're supposed to control players. Like, I just, I don't understand. Anyway, besides my ability to not understand how to move players around the arena, we're doing pretty good. Wait, why is he, why, why are you going down that way, sir? Sir, can you go up? What is happening? What is happening? I am so confused. Okay, well, maybe, maybe Detroit has earned this one. Hold on. Is this gonna work? What the? I'm just like testing out my controls with random dudes. I'm so confused as to what's going on. Here, I tell you guys what. Rather than watching me continue to fail this game, we're gonna choose a side, which is no side. <laughs> and we're gonna let the computer <laughs> round out this video here. There we go. We're gonna get the best uh, the best quarter, whatever, uh, that you guys have seen so far. There's actually going to be some competition going on here. Place your bets. I'm betting on the Chicago Bulls because they are the better team. I played as both. I had the Pistons were not very good. The Bulls, I got an 8 nothing streak. The Pistons, they kind of suck. Yeah, we'll let this, uh, we'll let this play out here. So... Uh, NBA 2K10 is one of the games in the book, 1,001 video games that you must play before you die. Um, and I would say that, like, as far as modern sports games go, it's it's interesting, it's fine. Um, not being a basketball guy, it's hard to judge. You know, like, I... My, my most favorite sports games are, like, Blades of Steel, NBA Jam, you know? Like, I like the more arcadey games. 
Um, I, I think if you like simulator -y type games, I mean, definitely, even on the PSP, this does have a strong resemblance to watching a real match on ESPN. And we'll check out an Xbox 360 clip uh, shortly. But, you know, even on the Xbox 360, this game was looking pretty good. And now you have, like, Xbox One, PS4. So, like, I think as far as, like, sports simulation games go, w there's some really impressive ones out there these days uh, that you can check out. As far as, like, NBA 2K10, um, it seems fine. It seems fine to me. It doesn't seem particularly bad. I mean, the controls, for some reason, I don't understand how to move players, and that was actually very frustrating. And that's where my complaint about I'd rather be playing, like, NBA Jam comes in. But for people who are more interested in simulating the basketball experience, I could see how maybe this would be uh, more interesting. Maybe the way that players move is more realistic. Maybe it's unrealistic to think that if you want to go up, you just can because if other players are there, they might sort of bump you and bounce you and push you out of bounds or something like that. So the controls might make more sense to people who actually understand or play basketball. But to me, it was, I don't know. Uh, but I'm really curious what you guys think here about NBA 2K10. Like, is it a game that you played growing up or you still play? Like, do you still come back to this game, maybe? Um, you know, what is it about this game that really stood out when it first came out? You know, that was really neat for you guys. In fact, actually, I have not said what the book thought of this game. Hold on a second here. Okay, so here's what the book says. Uh, think sports and you think EA, it's hard not to, but in the NBA franchise, 2K Sports owns the gold standard and critical darling. The overall package is crammed top quality features with enhancements for this version, adding more depth to the excellent franchise mode, managing your team, blah, 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 on court, off court, the best uh, Vegas buffet, dip into every available option and you can fill yourself until you're stuffed. <laughs> I guess it says like the best Vegas buffet interesting metaphor there uh encore action apes uh real tv broadcast with perfect camera panning and play so i guess it was it talks here about how it really seems like an espn match um and that definitely is true uh basketball at its highest level gravity defy defying endeavor using its complex tough to master but ultimately rewarding control scheme hey they even say here it's a tough to master control scheme the NBA 2K10 captures the excitement as accurately as it can. Practice is certainly required. Blah, blah, blah. So that's just a very brief paraphrasing of the write-up in the book. But uh, yeah, I, I would agree with everything the book says. I mean, it looks like an ESPN match. Fairly impressive, even, even for the PSP, for like the graphics you would get back in the day. It even has like little touches with like showing the crowd, showing the cheerleaders, showing the fans buying nachos between rounds and stuff. You have announcers and stuff and the cheering. Like it really does feel like an NBA match. Um, you even got like the, the coach reacting. The controls are hard and I can vouch for that. So if you're not into spending the time to learn them, then it may not be the game for you. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think, as far as basketball games go, I think it's solid. But uh, I would be interested to hear uh, what you guys think of this game and what maybe drew you to it, what was exciting about it. And we all know that my performance here was embarrassing. There's no need to bring that up in the comments. But, I mean, of course, everyone's going to comment on how badly I played. Hey, you know what? If, uh, if it brought you guys some smiles, then it was all worth it. Um, this final round is taking a while, so let's pop over instead to check out a clip from the Xbox 360 before we fully sign off here. But uh, maybe we'll pop back in real quick just to see who wins this final match. Man, even the halftime show on the Xbox 360 is more advanced. That guy likes what he sees. Oh yeah. So yeah, the character animations, the visuals, the crowd is actually animated. I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't perfectly look photorealistic. Still looks like a last-gen console. But, I mean, look at that wide shot there. That actually looks really clean. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, 2K, 2K10. I mean, obviously, depending on the system you play it on. Like how the, the mascot's, like, moonwalking there. That's awesome. Uh, depending on the system that you're playing it on, it obviously gets more advanced. So, the PSP, we were going for the low end there. But uh, again, we hadn't done too much PSP in a while. I thought that'd be kind of fun. And um, gameplay wise, I think the game is virtually the exact same as the PSP. You know, control wise, uh, it's supposed to be the same game. So, you know, if you do like 
If you do like NBA basketball, I don't think it really matters which system you play it on in terms of gameplay. But definitely if you want like the nice polished visuals, you're going to want to go with PS3 or Xbox 360. But uh, these look a little too nice for our channel, guys. We're from the retro era. This is like burning my eyes. Let's go back to the 8-bit, okay? Well, after a long, hard match, it looks like there's 9.2 seconds left. And unfortunately, the Chicago Bulls are not going to win this one. So, I blame it on the Bulls being a terrible team. I mean, they're just the worst. <laughs> See, clearly it had nothing to do with my skill. It was all the Bulls being bad. I mean, obviously, it's because I set them back like 20 points in the earliest uh, quarters. But nonetheless, I blame it all on the Bulls. I take no responsibility like a true leader shouldn't. <laughs> uh, there you go, guys. Well, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, uh, I hope you will uh, slap a like and subscribe and all that stuff. Leave me a comment in the comments down below. Um, but uh, I hope you did have a bit of a chuckle. And I uh, hope today was entertaining for you. So until next time, uh, you, all t you all take care of yourselves. And uh, peace. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. You know what I'm wondering? I think I asked this back when I played Blades of Steel, but is there anyone out there who would like set up two computers to play against each other and actually watch the match? You know, like it was kind of a joke for Blades of Steel, but I mean, think of these like modern basketball games that look so photorealistic. Like if you have the PS4 or the Xbox One version of this game, of like the latest NBA game, I'm sure it looks just like almost photorealistic like uh, an NBA ESPN match. So does anyone out there actually ever just be like, man, I kind of feel like watching basketball, but it's not on tonight. I'll just set two random computers to play and like watch the video game. Does anyone actually do that? I feel like I guess nowadays everyone just watches Let's Plays like you guys are watching me play. So maybe you'd go on YouTube and watch someone else play. But does anyone actually watch just the computers play? That's where that's the, where the secret action is, guys. I'm really curious. Can you guys do that? Probably no one does that, but nonetheless.